Do you know how they were created? I believe they are the faces of the storytellers. Are in. Is that right? Are so you, I understand. First of all, I read the captions. Ah. Well, I'm a, I'm a, a fellow artist ah. on that level with my <laughs> shoes. Um, I like the, the dual figures. I like the, the whale, how he's, he's wearing water boots. It look, the image looks grimmer than the story is, somehow. Um, but I like it. It sort of, sort of makes me laugh, in a way. Does it change your perception of your story? Or? No. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It? Um, it's interesting taking the story to the, to the picture and, and, and vice versa. Uh, It's kind of still taking it in, in in a, in a way, I guess. You know, when you tell when you tell a story, in order for the listener to listen, they have to make the their pictures in their own head. So the pictures may come out different each time. So there we have it. Do you think um, it'd be uh, nice to have this alongside the story to somebody hearing it, or would it? Or is it would it That'd be interesting. Be interesting. Um, I think probably what would be more interesting would be to hear the story first, and then to show, you know, the, the audience the picture and so, and and for them to reflect on that. Do you uh, think it works as a standalone piece of art, or is it yeah. best with the story? Or? The story. I'm sure it had something to it. But I think it has to work as a, as a standalone PCR. Right, thank, you very much. thank you. So, how do you think this uh, portrait represents your story? Um, I think it represents it very well. Um, the idea is that I was at Tesco's and I met a strange man in the queue who was smiling because he'd met a genie at the bottle bank. So what Marjorie's done is she's got she's changed the, the wine bottle to Baxter's jam to kind of get in the recession thing. But in the, you can see the bottle bank reflected in it. So um, yeah, um, I, I like it very much. Yeah. I'm hoping that it makes people intrigued enough to actually want to find yeah. out what the story is which they can do with that little gizmo there. Ah, Put their yeah. iPhone on it and get the story from it. It's great. Oh, that's very good. Yeah. Um, so, um, other than your own, of course, which is your favourite? I love Claire's one. Claire Jewett. Yeah. This one here. Um, she's telling a, uh, it's a poem, and it's all about the fairy world. So I just, I just think the way she's been represented is beautiful with all the little fairies and the trees and the faces coming out the more you look at it. I really like it. But I think they're all really good and I think they're all pretty different as well. You know, the whole range of them, um, I really like them all. So, so uh, away from the stories, how do you see them as works of art? Do you like them? I do like them as works of art, yes. Do you think they stand alone or, or are they better with the stories? Or? I think some of them can stand alone. Um, I think I think Claire's one can, but I think the rest of them you would have to know the stories behind them. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Mine um, was a poem, and um, poem, I so. think it reflects it really nicely. I'm really nicely overwhelmed by seeing it. It's the first time I've seen it tonight, oh, yeah. so I didn't know quite what to expect. Mar Marjorie had said what she was planning on. Um, but now I actually see it, you know, it makes a lot of sense, I think, for, for the poem, and I think it represents what the poem's about really, really nicely, you know, I'm really pleased. Do you think it has uh, changed your view of the poem at all, um, your interpretation? No, no, I think it's, because uh, the, whole, the whole point of the poem is that, uh, I guess like any, any poetry that you've written is that if you're happy with it, then that's fine and everybody else can interpret it as they wish, you know. So it's, um, you know, it's humbling for somebody to interpret the poem, you know, I think it's nice. Yeah. Everybody will view it, whether it's a story or a poem or anything, everybody takes away something different. So I think what, what Marjorie has done is really, it's really in keeping with it, you know, I don't, I don't think it, 
it's changed. I think it's um, just an extension. As a, piece, extension as a piece of art on its own, what do you think of it? I love it. I love all of them because yeah. they're all so different. They're they really like a style. Yeah. Yeah. I like all the little, um, the little faces mm. and the berries on the branches. I might, I'll probably ask Martin to put his name so he can see if he presents his brain. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I love the well as well. Yeah, I think the two endings I have at the moment are my favourites, but I guess as I look at them more, I'll change my mind each time. Thank you very much. Well, the story is about um, Maureen Rua, and uh, she's depicted in her seven league boots. I particularly like the seven league boots with the uh, um, Celtic kind of designs on them. And um, yeah, she can basically stride out far ahead of the of the giant in her boots, and um, she's kind of drowning in her wake there. So um, I think that's that's nicely represented, just how she looks totally carefree and striding away from him, and he's, he's drowning in her wake. Okay. Well, I'm dependent on the dance wife, and. Uh, I'm, I'm looking a lot older in the picture than I am in real life. <laughs> this is that, that, that's kind of the thing of digi digitally um, aging somebody when it's been done by sketch. <laughs> um, so now I know not what I'm going to look like when I'm 20 years old. <laughs> um, so, as a standalone piece of art, how do you think it is? Yeah, I think it works well, but I actually think um, it works best with the narrative, the narrative as part of it, yeah. But I suppose somebody who's seen it without knowing the story could would probably construct their own narrative, you know, around it, because it's clearly got a story. So, and other than this piece, which is your favourite? Yeah, I really like the one with um, the Buddha and the wheel. Everybody said that. Really? That's interesting, well, yeah. We've only spoken to about four people. Well, I know, I know Andy Hunter really well, and actually, um, it's perfect to depict him as a Buddha because he's got a lot of Buddha like qualities, I think. Yeah, I really like that one. Okay, well, thank you. Okay, you're welcome.